Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have this product that I found at Rockler Woodworking. It's called Easy Inlay Gold Flake. It says gold flake right on it. 20 grams of tam Tamiz Gold, T-A-M-I-S-E. Not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and then on the side, it says gold flake adds a luxurious glimmer to gilding, casting, or inlay accents for any woodworking, wood turning, or crafting project. Mix with a variety of resins, glue size, or finishes. Do not ingest. For more information, visit easyinlay.com. So over on the website, easyinlay.com, uh, you can see right there, it says gold flake, $19.95. And this thing, by the way, the reason I think this isn't real is because it's 20 grams. Right now, uh, gold is worth per gram. For one gram of gold, you're looking at $85.43. So that's why I'm kind of thinking that this is not real gold. But if it is, we just hit the jackpot. But I mean, it really does look like gold. And nowhere does it say that it doesn't contain real gold. It kind of looks like it could be real. And we're going to do some experiments to find out if it is real or not. And if it isn't, um, I'll show you exactly how we figure that out as well. So let's take this over to the panning station. We'll open it up, we'll take a closer look at it, and we'll figure out what it really is. Okay, here it is, the 20 grams of gold flake from easyinlay.com. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice, all right. Let's take a look down in here. I want to kind of give it a visual inspection. Um, yeah. If you've ever seen gold leaf, that is exactly what it looks like. It's just super lightweight. You can just blow it away with your breath. It moves around very easily. And although it says it's Tamiz Gold, which according to ChatGPT means sieves or like like small, classified I guess. Um, there's some pretty big pieces in here. So I'm not too sure what that's all about. So yeah, with a quick visual inspection, I would say that it is real gold just by looking at it. Um, but of course that doesn't tell us really anything. So I do have this really strong neodymium magnet here. We'll take this down to the material here and see if it's magnetic at all. If it is magnetic, then we definitely do not have gold. Well, it's not magnetic, so I mean, it could still be gold. All right, magnet test complete. I still wanna run a few more tests on it. All right, the first test I wanna run is a mercury test. So if we add mercury to gold, it's going to amalgamate, meaning the mercury is actually gonna eat the gold and combine. So let's go ahead and add some, I'm gonna add some fresh mercury to this. So we have little drops of mercury all throughout this. And I'll tell you right now, um, nothing's happening, which means I am doubting that this is real gold. All right, the next thing I wanna try is a flame test. I wanna see if this stuff will actually burn. So here I have a butane lighter. Go ahead and torch it and see what happens. Now, if this was real gold, I'm actually not 100% sure what would happen. I would guess that the gold would just kind of turn into ash. Kind of like that. Yeah, it basically just turned it into black ash. So I'm not really sure what that was supposed to prove. I just kind of wanted to burn something. All right, the next thing I want to try is some nitric acid. I'll just pour a small amount in here. Whoops. Let's see what happens when we add this. Oh, wow. That is not gold. Definitely not. See how it turns blue, green? I would say this is copper. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun. Copper or brass, it just instantly 
dissolves it. Let's add a whole bunch and see what happens. All right, I got the jar here. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch. Oh boy, better not breathe that. Now that is a pretty cool reaction. That is cool, but unfortunately that means this is not gold. All right guys, we don't have gold. And if I would have done a little bit more research when I first started, I could have figured it out. But I relied on ChatGPT, which of course it's 2024, it's not perfect yet. I asked it what Tamiz, actually I asked it what the pronunciation of Tamiz was, and it gave me that. But it also said that Tamiz means sifted or sieved, reflecting how the material is finely processed. It didn't say anything about it meaning non-gold material. Um, however, all I needed to do was a quick Google search, and here you go. Tamiz Metal Leaf Flakes, approximate sizes range from 1 to a half inch. A variety of color palettes are created by intermixing imitation gold, imitation silver, copper, and various other metals. So, at least we got a cool video out of it. It was a lot of fun to play with fire and some strong acid, so yeah. I get it's not a very long video, but we really don't have too much more to do with this stuff. Um, at least now we know. If you want to go um, try to hit the, the jackpot at Rockler Woodworking or at EasyInlay.com, it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, that would have been awesome. But yeah, if this was real gold and we were able to refine it down to like a little button and it was 24 karat pure after refining it, um, yeah, 20 grams times 85, you do the math, that's like over a thousand bucks easy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do that. I put out treasure hunting videos on this channel all the time. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that actually watched the entire video. So thanks so much for that. It really helps the show. Also, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right here. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also checking out the video I have linked right over there. It's very relevant to what you just watched, and thanks for watching.